Wow, this car is so much fun. Even though this baby is slow, but it's so much fun with this amazing machine. Ooh, I love this car. Finally driving her a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back to VS Garage. Today we'll be taking the manual transmission shifter out and we will be rebuilding it on this W115 Mercedes Benz. So we're gonna jack up the car, this side or the other, it doesn't matter. So now while you're under the car, here's your linkages and everything. So this thing is all pretty bad and sloppy so we're gonna take it all out but first before I undo anything I have my blue tape and I'm gonna mark each rod left middle and right that way I can reinstall everything nicely and easily so I won't have any issues so after you mark them left middle and right it's pretty simple just uh, pull this clip off like that and then each one of those uh, will drop left and you can reinstall the clip so you don't lose it if you can <laughs> all right everything is removed here now we can go on top and start disconnecting the shifter itself so i kind of wish i showed you how the shifter was before but it was pretty bad uh it's just like all sloppy and yeah it's pretty bad it's all disconnected underneath now but yeah it was horrible not gonna lie so that's why i need to take this apart and i'm gonna replace the shifter boot at some point too i need to order another one but the bushings are on their way yeah and i can clean all this garbage here but you can see that bushing is gone it's got play yeah it's not cool so anyways I'm gonna start disconnecting this guy so you don't have to do this right now, but I decided to remove this shifter knob right now. Uh, you have to loosen this 15 millimeter nut first, and then you're gonna just undo this guy. Excuse all the mess here, this is a work in progress car. Now we're gonna take off this uh, uh, Phillips screw. So the screw is out. You're gonna move this backwards, kinda carefully. There's a clip there, so. I might have to lift that guy. Let's try to lift this guy up. while pushing out this panel. So I really don't want to take this whole center console out just to take the shifter out. Uh, so there are these two bolts, screws, but they're from like underneath, so you can't really get to them. And this plate is screwed on with these two screws. And because of that, I can't really remove this all the way, otherwise I'm gonna break it. So I just kind of cheat it now, and I'm just using vice grip to loosen these two screws from underneath like that from the top I mean all right after loosening up these screws from the top so this was already a little bit broken unfortunately like on the bottom here so I'm just gonna glue it back but everything else is intact and now as you can see because I loosened it I was able to like pivot it up a little and that gave me room to slide this thing out now, as you can see, I have to disconnect this uh, connector for the reverse lights and uh, clean up a bunch of garbage here. And these bolts are a little tricky to get to, but I'm going to try my best to get to them. 10 millimeter bolts, four of them. This shifter has never been off from what I think. It's so bad. And I think that spring is... See this bulge right here, so that spring probably just came out 
of the housing. It's pretty bad. So the bolts are out. And now I might take a look because there's a gasket right there. Okay, cool. That came loose. So I got to figure out how to disconnect this connector carefully. It's one of the last things I have to do. So this connector for the reverse switch doesn't just come out. So I'm just going to take this center console out. It is what it is. Uh, you can probably try to turn it with the wrench, but it's everything's going to be like twisting and all that. So there's a connector somewhere there hidden. So I'll just take everything out. I need to clean out all this area anyways. So that's going to be the plan. Well, <laughs> I just want to remove the center console, but it looks like I'm going to have to remove this first and then the center console you know and all of that is because of that sensor if you guys don't have patience i mean you could also cut the two wires and then splice two wires together and solder them uh but you know either way i have to clean all this area up so i'm almost ready to pull this guy out all right well you have this pulled out like this you can start disconnecting things on it okay and then you can take the whole thing out so this part is already removed. There's access to the blower motor. So I'm going to take the blower motor out later on to clean everything. I'm going to take this center console piece here in a second. But now for those of you wondering, where's that connector for the switch? It's actually right here, you know, but I'm not mad. I mean, I still have to like I was going to eventually take all the stuff out anyways to clean everything and, you know, service whatever needs to be serviced. So, yeah, lots of work, lots of dirt here. The blower is not working on this car, so I'm going to take it out. Maybe I'll replace it or do something to it, you know. We'll see. So I disconnected the connector, but either way, I realized that you would still need to remove the center console, at least, like, lift it up, because there's still so much, like, pressure and stuff in there. So, yeah, and this car, it's not that easy. So this is one of the biggest center consoles I've ever seen. And there's just screws holding it. One, two, two right there, and one right there, one right there. And it just literally comes out. So I just have to move it out of the way. Like Look at that. And here's our race car, a weight reduction. Look at all this junk. Anyways, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, so that's so crazy. Look, the connector for this shifter. Oh, yeah, it actually goes. It goes elsewhere. Huh, I was wrong. It's not actually that connector. This connector is. Actually, let me see. This connector goes somewhere there. Maybe it's for the hazard switch. But yeah, but this one goes elsewhere. Where's that connector at? Oh, wow. So this connector goes all the way there somewhere. So I'm not going to even chase that. I'm going to lift it up and then loosen this up. That's how I'm going to disconnect it while this is out. This is everything. Look, it's your shifter. Time to clean all this baby up make it nice so i loosened this sensor with 22 millimeter bolt just be really careful because this housing is like plastic right here and then just start turning it you know around until it's out all the way and i think that's the easiest way instead of having to you know instead of cutting this or having to go look for that connector so i'm just gonna do it this way all right guys, so here's the shifter assembly and we're gonna be cleaning this first of all, um, taking all the change out of it. And later we will, I'll show you all the parts that you guys are gonna need to rebuild this amazing uh, engine, amazingly engineered thing. So let's get to it. Not gonna tell you how I got to this point and what i had to do but take this plastic off to get to the blower get this blower out now like so needs to be cleaned up and tested 
I have to, if I can, I don't know, I might be able to change the brushes if they need to be changed. Oh boy, it's so much pain. Yeah, this goes on top right here. Look at this crazy evaporator. Is that, yeah, that looks like evaporator. That's crazy. This thing is massive. So first thing I'm gonna do, I loosen these 10 millimeter bolts, all right? And um, it's my first time actually rebuilding one of these, but it seems pretty simple. Um, and we're just gonna undo these bolts. Also this, as you can see, this is that bushing right here that goes in here. And this one's actually pretty bad because before I took it out, it was all like in, like it was that way. Like it was, it came out and that is because like this part the lip of it probably like just worn out was worn out and just broke off and it's not there anymore so this this thing was out all the way it's pretty worn out and there's the washer right here which is this guy Just need to take good pictures of this just so you know how it goes back in properly there's a spring inside as well like so there's some change right here that was not able to get out until now <laughs> i'm gonna take this guy out carefully like so Okay, there's a spring. I'm gonna have to clean everything and get it all lubricated. So to remove that spring, you have to kind of lift these up one at a time. And then you're gonna be able to lift this spring out. It's pretty nasty. It needs to be cleaned up and greased up again. Now once you take the spring out, now you can start lifting that washer piece, all these three pieces out of the way, like that. Also needs a bunch of cleaning. Okay. This washer, there's that washer. It's actually not in a, the worst shape. And now this one, this bushing right here, is the one that's disintegrated completely. This bushing gets pushed out that way. Might need like a, a little tool to like tap it out. I was able to start moving it. Finally pushed it out. It's a broken piece. So what the new one looks like. Now there's also a washer that goes in into literally inside of that guy. Don't forget that. Now we can go ahead and give it a good clean. Now I added a little bit of tire lube after cleaning here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this bushing and I might have to carefully press this in by hand should be able to do it actually it goes in pretty smooth and easily look at that awesome and after you take this plastic nut off you can lift this whole assembly there's another bushing you have to replace that bushing so we got new bushing installed right here and um, getting ready to you know grease everything up and start installing everything back I'm 
it's a pretty messy job but first you install the spring and got washer right there i put a bunch of grease in between all the moving parts it's gonna have to work with both hands all right guys here's our brand new not brand new but rebuilt shifter assembly i'm about to install it super exciting gonna have a nice beautiful rebuild shifter with three brand new bushings first things first don't forget to attach your um reverse sensor and then go ahead and install your shifter right here and install those four bolts so center console and everything is mostly in I gotta tell you it's a pain in the ass to work on this car so you can't just take off the center console. I have to take this one off too, like you know. But anyways, there's our shifter. And I already checked the operation. The bottom is connected, just those three linkages. Connected those. Um, gonna install this guy now. And then I have a brand new shifter boot as well. This is from uh, W201, hopefully it works. <laughs> Uh, I know there's a different part number for W123s and 115s, but hopefully this one works just fine. It appears to be the same, pretty much. And we'll reinstall everything back. Alright, so, fortunately that boot didn't fit, so I'm going to roll as is with it. Alright, now check this out. So there's going to be a little bit of play like this, and I can't do anything about it. It's just that play is where those rods that go underneath the car... It's just what's causing that um it's just back and forth motion movement but other than that it feels really good i mean i mean i really really like it yeah so all three bushings are brand new and i'm just waiting for i'm gonna have to order one for a w123 specific boot so i can install it mine actually ordered this brand new as well yeah What an amazing car.